This is like our own little, like, we need to make a name for this segment. I know. Ask Joan and Ashley. What? Should I to burn a candle? Yes, yeah. I should. <laughs> okay. Wait, should we wait for this guy to just calm down just a little bit? She needs to get used to it. Okay. Shall we start with a cheers? Yes. Cheers! Mm. Mm, wow, this one is good. It was 5001. <laughs> I know, right? I have such cheap taste. No, no, no. Oh, how does this sound? What was it? Um, people say that natural wine doesn't taste good. It doesn't. They say it like, tastes like the barn. And I'm like, no. Hi guys, long time no see. Joan and I are finally back for a part two of our girl talk video. I know you guys have been waiting very patiently for it and Joan has graciously um, let me you know, come to our house to film this Always. video. And there's a camera right here too, just so you guys can see our face more clearly and our facial expressions when we're spilling the tea. The wine. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I just want to start off by eating these cookies that Joan made us. Yes, I baked these cookies. Oh, squishy. Yeah. Mm. It's like a baking mix, but I also added some ingredients. Oh, I like it because it's not hard. It's mm. super mushy. I don't mm. know how much it's all. Thank you. Of course. I get a lot of comments still mm -hmm. to this day asking for an update on this q and <laughs> I know, me too all the time It's like one of those videos that are like constantly getting comments on So I get reminded every now and then I'm like, okay, <laughs> we have to film the part two Wait, I should read some of the comments mm -hmm. Okay, let's react to some comments before opening the Instagram okay. story, right? <laughs> Alright And also people were freaking out over the fact what? that You know, we were eating chicken and we were also eating the mood, the pickled mm -hmm. radish and I like picked one up mm -hmm. and like I like to save those radishes because <laughs> there are not a lot so I would just bite half and put it in, put it there and I would forget about it and yeah, grab yeah. another one and people were like why is Ashley just <laughs> leave eating half of the radish and throwing it out? I didn't throw it out, I oh, ate them all oh my so This was three months ago, October 3rd Can you read this comment? Oh, not Joan telling us she doesn't recommend dating I don't like we had a chance in the first place <laughs> I know because you're so, just so casually like I wouldn't recommend it like, <gasps> oh I wouldn't my recommend gosh. dating idols or Kinky says I didn't want to sound rude or offending but I find this video very very similar to Damon Dominic's red wine talk videos even the intro vibes are semi similar anyways love the honest talks yeah I got a few comments um, saying that the video was kind of like Damon Dominique's mm -hmm. and I honestly had no idea but mm -hmm. I looked it up after and I could see why people were oh. saying that um, I guess for me it was just like wanting to do what we always do yes. just drinking red wine and talking yeah uh, but I guess yeah it is similar in that way mm -hmm. so, so I guess we'll have to come up with a different name but <laughs> thanks to you guys we found a great channel to <laughs> watch is it called wine talk? It's red wine talk. Oh, yeah, red we'll red be wine white talks. wine talk. What? I'm <laughs> just kidding. But we both like red wine. Yeah, we do, we do. Oh, well, we'll just be girl talk. Mm. We're always like wine nights uh -huh. or something. Okay. Oh, maybe we should just do wine nights. Yes, and then we can have guests. Yes. It'll be more chaotic and more fun and more tea to spill. Um, Jan P was like, we need part two of this. Tibal. A well, month ago. Let's start that now then. Yeah, and Marincia Marin says, this is my third time watching this. Please make Wine Talks a series. Okay. We will. We will. No, it's going to be a series. Yeah. Thank you everyone for uh, sending us the questions on Instagram, by the way. Okay, let's start with an easy question. Mm -hmm. uh, Lauren Kim says, what kind of person were you in school? I was... I was like a wallflower in school, honestly. I didn't stand out too much. I didn't have a lot of close friends in the same grade as me because mm -hmm. um, especially in high school, most of my friends were a year younger than me. Mm -hmm. So I'm a 91, but all my close friends were 92s. Me too. Yeah, so yeah. when we had like school events, you know, like senior prom and mm -hmm. senior prank day and stuff, I had no one to really have fun with. Yeah. I only had one close friend in school. I didn't participate in a lot of clubs or anything. I was just like right in the middle, just boring. No? Yeah. I went to school late. Mm -hmm. So all my friends were 92. Oh, you yeah. went to school with the, you were in the same grade as the 92. And 92. So oh. I graduated high school 010. You oh, did 11. Oh, 09. No, oh, 09. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, 
mean, I'm guessing you're a great student. Like, did you? Were you the teacher's pet? And no, 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 no. no. Okay, so it, I was a different type of student for each like grades. Mm -hmm. So in elementary school, I was like a troublemaker. I got in trouble all the time because I couldn't speak English. So I didn't know what people were saying up till like first grade. Mm -hmm. So I just remember always like leaving the classroom to go to the bathroom break for until like the bell rang. And I was like a terrible child. I went to a school with no Asians. I got picked on for being Asian. So I wasn't like confident. And then that kind of mentality went with me to middle school. But you know how Asians have the stereotype of like being smart? Yes. I wasn't smart. So I had to like work extra hard. You know how there's like two types of people? One who's like born smart and then one who's like just... They have to work really hard to get there. Yeah. I was the second. Abe was the smart kid. I was the one who had to work super hard. What? And so junior high school, I felt really like I wasn't living up to my stereotype so mm -hmm. I felt like I had to be on this like super crazy track to catch up with like oh, the yeah. other fellow Asians yeah, you're on track yeah oh yeah well yeah oh, oh. <laughs> I was like wait what? <laughs> I guess I was always not confident, mm -hmm. but then it didn't really um, affect me in terms of like how I met friends because my personality is just kind of all over the place. Mm -hmm. And then in high school, I was I owned it. <laughs> like, so jealous. No, towards the end because mm -hmm. freshman year, sophomore year, junior year, I didn't know, but my senior year, I wanted it to count, mm -hmm. and so. I like ran for a student government, <gasps> ran for president of like a Never. certain club. <laughs> Did you not have stage fright like giving no. speeches? No. And then, yeah, no, I didn't. Wow. I ran for like a bunch of stuff. I applied to hella like California colleges. Mm -hmm. I took all these classes. And I studied hard, but I also got a lot of extracurricular activities. Oh. And you had a social life. Yeah, I had a social life. So I, I'm very proud of that. And oh. in, in college, I didn't study. <laughs> Wait, in high school, did you also get sleep? Because you know you have to sacrifice one. Yeah. You got all three? Yes. In high school, I was the perfect person. Because it was wow. sleep, social life, and school. grades. Yeah. yeah, I had a good balance of all of it. Dang. And then That's in college hard. it was goodbye grades. Because yeah. in college my whole mentality was just pass and graduate. You don't need to get straight A's. Mm. Yeah. So I was just wow. different student. In college I was definitely more chill Dang. because everyone was smart. Everyone. And I was like, I'm not this. So um, <laughs> oh my gosh, I saw one of the questions: How to cope with ghosting? Oh yeah. <laughs> Shall we just answer? Do you want to do that? Yeah. After filming the first episode mm -hmm. about the question of dating idols mm -hmm. she has gone on dates with idols mm -hmm. so tell us because <laughs> you've been ghosted by one yes um yeah i think it's just a memory that i wanted to erase so it doesn't come to my mind but yeah. when i saw this i was like wait have i ever been ghosted and i thought about it and i was like oh shit Shoot, I have been ghosted. Like I never dated an idol, but I did go on a few dates. Okay, this dude, he was so good at talking uh. that I totally believed that he liked me a lot. But um, I, I remember this, so it's like pissing me off. <laughs> I found out that he was talking to multiple people at once, and that's why he would take forever to respond sometimes. When he would text me, he would um, be texting me like three hours straight, like four hours straight, just back and forth, and then he mm. would disappear for like a day. And then he would come back with an excuse like, oh, I was sick, my mom came to take care of me. Mm. And then he would text me again, and he would disappear again. But when he did talk to me, he was... <laughs> yeah, he knew how to. I'm you know. getting mad hearing it too because I'm like, I'm reliving that time. Why did I do that? I'm so stupid. Uh, but I don't even remember what excuse he gave. He no, I don't disappear. Think, I don't think it's your fault though. Mm -hmm. It's not because he was showing you interest. Mm -hmm. And when you told me about this guy, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. And I remember like rooting for you. Yeah, but yeah. How did you deal with it? It was the first time it happened to me and mm. it felt like 
because I would rather want someone to just be straight up and say, hey, mm. this is not working, yeah. let's just be friends. But to be ignored was just, how does someone do this? Like, they don't have basic manners. Yeah. Hello? I was so mad and I remember being so confused like did I do something wrong? Like, no, you didn't do anything wrong. Off? Like what did I, did I do? He was just an wrong? asshole. Yeah, he was just an asshole. So I remember after it happened I just like called you and Suvines and then yeah. we were just talking and then just like what do I do? But then the funny thing is he texted me back and he called me back like so many times after that mm -hmm. and I was just like nope, never again. Never again. Yeah, no. Talk to your loved ones. Yeah. <laughs> talk to your loved ones. Please talk to your loved ones today yeah. about ghosting. About getting ghosted. <laughs> no, Honestly, but it's not fun though. Because mm -hmm. my first like real relationship, I got ghosted at the end and I was like, are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was the worst actually. And then you find out that there was cheating involved. Or, mm -hmm. And so... You know, honestly, if a guy ghosts you, it's not worth your time. Yeah. He's not, it's not worth your time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not worth your time. It's not worth your time. Mm -hmm. Girls, you just have to know your value. I don't know, I've been watching a lot of TikTok videos lately, mm -hmm. and there's like a bunch of um, great advices for like single people about like, girls, if a guy ghosts you, just, just, you don't deserve that. Know your value. It's, it's so true though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He doesn't deserve you if he ghosts you. Yeah. No. It's so stupid. Yeah. Like have basic manners and just say it. If he does ghost you, that share shows a lot about who he is as a person. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to be with someone who is like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It sucks in the moment. And it's a good thing that you found out now because you can just, you know, yeah, get rid of it. Yeah. Know your value and talk, talk to, to your really loved ones. Yes. <laughs> Please let us know how you handle your finances, budget, and money stuff. I feel like you'd be really good at this because she is the queen of Excel. <laughs> and you put everything there, right? Yeah, I do. I have no I don't even know how to use Excel. Like I I'll teach you. I'll give you a tutorial one day, like in person. Finance queen. <laughs> this is like a separate video topic. Really? Yeah, it is. Because there's so much, mm. so many things because it's about saving, it's about investing. Mm. I would have to organize my thoughts, but Damn. how I manage my money is yes, I do have an Excel sheet of all of the income I make. And spendings. And all the, so how I record the spendings, mm. it's all going to be in my credit card. Mm. For, for all the business related spendings, I do have like a tab where I explain it. Mm -hmm. And I try to save like... 70% of my paycheck. Wow. Yeah. Ultimately, maybe I will do a video on this in the future. I think you should because I think many people will find it helpful, like even me, because mm -hmm. I just started making my own money in 2020 mm -hmm. and I do want to be more mindful when it comes to spending. But I will give you a tip on how to manage your money because once tax season comes, mm -hmm. like in Korea, it gets crazy. Oh man, yeah, I've never dealt with the tax thing yet mm. by myself, so yeah. I'm scared. Having a CPA helps. Okay. <laughs> it really does. Uh, menstrual products. Oh, very exciting. <laughs> Pads, cups, accessibility, and opinions in Korea. That's yes. Oh wow. Girl, you, if you challenge me like that. No, 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 I'm just kidding. Please don't. No. No. <laughs> No, we're gonna have to open another bottle soon. The most used sanitary product, I think, is pads. Mm -hmm. My Korean friends, they kind of freak out at the idea of tampons. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like they'll be even more scared to use menstrual cups. But I know it's they're trying to make it a thing here and um, spread awareness about menstrual cups mm -hmm. just because it's better for the environment. Mm -hmm. I've tried using menstrual cups before for like three months, but it was just so hard like putting it in mm -hmm. and since you can't see it, like you don't even know if the cup actually opened inside. And so it, it, it just kind of hurt. I've and never tried it. it oh, wow. So after a while I stopped and I just used like pads and tampons. Uh -huh. I actually 
prefer pads. Mm -hmm. My periods last mm -hmm. like three days and then it's wow. just not heavy. But I do get my period monthly, mm -hmm. so I know that I'm on a good, you know, like, like rhythm, I guess mm -hmm. you would call it. But um, yeah, I prefer pads because I don't bleed that mm -hmm. much actually, but I do bleed every month. And something that I learned while living in Korea yeah. is I prefer American pads more than Korean pads. Really? How's it different? Well, Korean pads, not all, but some of them have this um, ginseng smell mm -hmm. to it. Do you, do you know yeah, which ones? There are about? certain brands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then also, you know how like... <laughs> You know, like there's like the pad and then the flap, the wings. Yeah, the, uh -huh. yeah, the wings. Like whenever you use them both, one will always not be like <laughs> it doesn't stick. So it always just like, hananen, it's not sticky. Really? Yeah. So I I I, I don't like the pads here. What? <laughs> That's just like a personal thing that I just kind of discover. So whenever my friends come to visit, they're like, what do you want from America? I'm like, hot Cheetos, toothpaste, and pads. It's a personal thing. I think everyone is different. Like, I have friends who love the cups. Uh -huh, uh -huh, and uh -huh. I have friends who yeah. cannot use tampons. I have mm -hmm. friends who only wear pad like pads. Everyone is different. So uh -huh. personally for me, I prefer American pads over American cream pads. pads. Whatever is comfortable for mm -hmm. you. Yes. Do you become stressed or pressured because of YouTube? If so, how do you deal with it? <laughs> wine. <laughs> like, I think I consumed the most wine of my life in 2020. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, and it also helps me fall asleep, so that's why I, mm -hmm. you know, started drinking more wine. But yeah, and also like talking to you. I would, and she's like so understanding, like. I'm like, oh, I don't feel like I want to film this today. She's like, it's okay. And then, oh, it, no, I mean, <laughs> no, it's like, well, like our life depends on. No, all right. You know? But I think um, it was very helpful to like have close friends nearby mm -hmm. that do the same thing mm -hmm. because you understand what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. How about you? I've been doing adulting series starting last year, March. And 46 episodes now? Yeah, that's all I've been doing basically, mm -hmm. right? I just did like a little vegan challenge in the middle, but mostly I film uh, my adulting series. Mm -hmm. And these days, uh, I didn't film for like two weeks and I didn't upload for like two mm -hmm. weeks just because I was thinking like, it's so repetitive and mm -hmm. it's the same thing over and over again. I feel like it's not interesting. And if yeah. I feel like it's not interesting, then the viewers are definitely not going to think it's right. interesting, you know? So I started to become self-conscious because I was watching all these YouTubers mm. and they were so, they have so much to say and they have so much to bring to the table. Mm. And I just felt like I was just, I don't know. I love your adulting series. It's just <laughs> doing great. And then we'll do this now. <laughs> yeah. This like, a, be a like a monthly thing or something. Uh, but um, No, I feel you though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's, it's normal. I feel like I've been more stressed and pressured about radio because I've been doing it for almost three years now every single day. You're good at radio. I tune doing in. doing it for so long and I feel bad for my listeners too because I want to do something fun for them but it's hard to do like something fun every single day. Oh no, then for sure. There are some, t some days when I come home from radio I'm like, Damn, I feel like crap because like I want to do well, like, and I want to do my best, but then sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh. sometimes I'm like, I feel so lacking, you know, mm. like, I don't even think I'm suitable for the job, and I don't think I'm a good fit, I don't deserve it, like, mm. someone much more interesting, and someone much more smart, and eloquent should be doing it, and there are times, I do still enjoy it, and I love the mm. relationship I have with my listeners, and my um, producers, and writers, and stuff, mm -hmm. but, it, it just gets to me sometimes. And You're so tough on yourself battle. though. You've been like this since the very first day I met you. Let me get you a tissue. <laughs> like, okay. I don't know, I respect that Ashley for sharing because um, that just shows how passionate you are about the job. Mm -hmm. And I will say like I do tune in to Get Real once in a while and radio <laughs> I, I do tune in like like when you're like, when you when I'm doing that <laughs> yeah because when she's on radio that's when like my vlog goes up yes, on Monday at eight. eight so I'm like tuning in while responding to comments and um, you're so good like I always tell you this I'm like Ashley like how do you 
like when she has a Korean guest on the show, she's like translating and then, you know, asking questions in both languages. I've done radio, that is really hard to do. So you're, you're doing great. Like I can't, I, I think about 2020 and how you juggled three jobs last year. That's amazing. Like you're so lucky to have been able to endure yeah. that because yeah. it's you're you're so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the right words to say. When people cry, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Me on the outside, I was like, "Oh yeah, like I got this." Mm -hmm. I, but then inside I'm like, I don't got this. You're like, "Oh my god, I don't want to away." No. No, you're doing so good and like I think you're on a great track. Especially since like last year in March, your contract ended too, mm -hmm. and then for you to be where you are now, like so much has changed for you. Like I would say your life changed 180, like mm -hmm. since since the contract has ended, and it's for the better. Your viewers are also like learning with you and seeing you grow, and like it it's incredible. <laughs> but stress is inevitable. You will get stressed. How to cope with it? It's Talk to your loved ones. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, that's like that's like the biggest tip for anything and everything. You just need that reassurance sometimes, you know. Yeah. You kind of you know start doubting yourself, but when mm -hmm. your loved ones sit you down, they're like, "Wake up! <laughs> no, don't say that." It's like a mirror. Look at you. <laughs> You're doing great. Yeah. That was a long response. <laughs> oh, Ashley. Dude, I will say, like, you can take this out. You're doing really well. To the point where I'm like jealous of how controlled your life is right now. I know, I really, really well. No, I think. No, I No, I Yeah. <laughs> no more, no more. <laughs> no more emotions. Do you have any tips for people who want to start YouTube? Love both your videos, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, I just want to say just start it. Yeah, yeah, that's like mm. the hardest but the most important part. I remember with Joan too, I, um, I kept confiding in her. I was just like, I want to do it, but I don't know. Like, it's so hard. I don't know if I can do it. And she was like, just do it. Just upload your first video. And it gets so much easier from there. Mm. Of course, you're not going to get views on your first video. That's mm -hmm. inevitable, but you just got to start it. That's always my advice for people. Yeah. Just start it. Don't worry about having the perfect camera, the perfect equipment, the perfect editing tool. It's just getting started. Mm -hmm. And then you'll learn from there. Mm, yeah, you learn as you go. Yeah. I hate watching my old videos though, <laughs> but it's okay. You learn as you go. <laughs> Is Seoul more of a home to you than New York or Cali now? Ooh. I feel like it's yes and no for me. Mm. No, because my family's still in New York. Mm. I do feel so at peace whenever I go back mm. home and I'm with my family. There's no emotional or mental instability, which I really need from time to time. Mm. So when I go there, I'm just like so at peace. And you know, my parents treat me like a princess whenever mm. I go because they only see me once a year. Mm. Um, and everything feels like the way it used to be when I lived there mm. But at the same time, I've been living in Korea more than I've lived in the States now Because the States I only lived 11 years and oh. then In Korea, I've lived here for 18 years now Korea is such a comfortable place to live in terms of mm. accessibility and convenience And I don't know if I could ever move back to mm. New York now I mean, I just want my parents to come here I don't mm. want my family to come to Korea Mm. More than I want to go back. 18 years? Yeah. That's a long time. I, I didn't even know it was that long. Yeah, I've been living in Korea for seven years. Mm -hmm. I don't think of Korea as home, mm -hmm. but this is the only place that I have a physical home to live in. So mm -hmm. I guess in terms of where I live here, mm -hmm. yes. But when I go back to America, I still feel like it's my home, but I don't have a home. <laughs> explain it mm. um and usually i you i go visit so often mm -hmm. but last year i couldn't so mm -hmm. do you think you could live in cali no no oh my gosh let me tell you this i will never move back to california Why? i hate it i have so many like um just i just don't like 
I don't like LA. Mm -hmm. I really don't like LA. Um, but I love New York. So I always talk to my brother about like, oh, if you ever want to, you know, like start working in the hospitals, which mm -hmm. hospital would you like to go? And he's like, where do you want to go? And I'm like, <laughs> I really want to go to New York. And he's like, he's down too. Like I got, I, I brought him to New York because I wanted him to see Did how New York was like. Did I, you fall in love with it? Yeah. Did you like it? Okay. Spider-Man. <laughs> Yeah, I, I love New York and I think um, New York has a good balance of what Seoul is and what um, LA, San Francisco was like for me because mm. I lived in San Francisco for four years before moving here too mm -hmm. and I love SF, don't get mm -hmm. me wrong, I love it, it's beautiful but I don't think I could ever live there because mm -hmm. it's so small, like I'm oh. used to like this jungle of like all these opportunities, all these things that you can do, like Seoul you can do something new every day mm -hmm. without COVID, of course. Yeah, yeah, without COVID. But I feel like New York can totally do that. I love New York. Yeah, I love New York too. How do you make friends with intimidating girls? Do I have intimidating girlfriends? Do I have intimidating girlfriends? Well, people aren't always intimidated of me. Yeah, they are. <laughs> it's actually hilarious. Wait, did you think I was intimidating when you first met no. me? No. But then I was dressed like Britney Spears yes. when you first met me, so yes. you couldn't take me seriously. I could not. I was like, wow, this girl is very bold. Why are people intimidated of me? <laughs> what? Why? It's really funny though because everyone's like, oh yeah, um, my first impression was actually was just very intimidating. I was like, she's like the softest person in the world. Like, you cannot think that. <laughs> if this person intimidates you, don't be friends with them. Hey, well, they would not be friends with me. <laughs> I'm giving no. Is it hard being a female and living alone? Any tips for safety? I do get scared a lot, especially because I've been watching so many like crime and suspense dramas these yeah. days like the older ones older korean dramas like voice signal and um secret there's always a girl getting killed followed by a man and, oh my know, gosh why do you watch that because it's fun like the storyline's <laughs> really good but after i watch like, it for tips yeah <laughs> when i um when i'm on my way home because i end radio pretty late mm. um, you so. watch it after that? No, 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 I watch it, you know, during Before, the day. Okay. Why would you wear, watch it while you're on the... When it's dark out, mm -hmm. literally, I am I turn my flash on and I'm like... Mm. I'm like running, you know? Because I get scared. So when I have someone delivering stuff, especially... Mm -hmm. I mean, these days with food delivery, I make sure that they just leave it in the front mm -hmm. door and just ring my bell mm -hmm. so I don't have to see them. Mm -hmm. But um, if it's like tekbe or if it's a delivery that I have to accept, mm -hmm. then before going out, I'll act mm -hmm. like I'm talking to someone. I'm like, oh, oh they go, they go, they go, they go, they go. Yeah, I it literally is. act. I'm mm. like, oh, I guess so. And I just and then go they out. say like put a pair of like male shoes. Yeah, yeah I they remember say seeing that. A pair of male shoes, and also a mm. lot of Korean girls also who live alone when they get stuff delivered, mm -hmm. they change the name to a name that sounds really macho, like <laughs> Kim Do Han, like I don't know something that sounds really scary on purpose. Something that a oh name that gosh. kind of sounds like a gangster. <laughs> um, so people will read it and they'll be like, oh. Okay, the scary guy must live here. Legit. So what did you say? There was a list of good names to choose. I Wait, saw. Wait, share. Yeah, I gotta find it again. But I saw on Instagram oh a list of good names for girls to use when they're living alone, so people won't think you're mm. a girl living alone. You know, because yeah. it's a scary world out there. You just never know. Ashley, when she sleeps over at my house, like we have, there's like a guest room and my room, and she's like, "Can we just sleep in your room together?" I was like. We're in the same house. Oh, <laughs> still she gets so scared. Yeah, I just, I just, oh, I'm just a scared cat. She's a, she's a scaredy cat. Mm. I don't get scared. Like if if I'm home alone and if a person comes to deliver, I'm like, oh hi, thank you, and I just don't care. If something bad happens, then I'll figure it out. Then I don't get too scared. Like even when I'm like out in the streets of Korea, like around Europe or America, I guess I just have too much faith in people. Damn, <laughs> I've heard way too many scary stories for me to just let my guard down. Really? Even when I'm just walking around the street, whenever I see like a black van, mm -hmm. I like run the opposite direction. <laughs> That's so funny, you're like opposite direction. I was like, oh my gosh, maybe a Yanin's inside. <laughs> Big, big van. Yeah. I guess I'm just, I'm just paranoid. 
not paranoid enough, then something juicy, Ashley. People are getting bored. Hey. <laughs> Biggest dating slash relationship slash boy regret? All of them. <laughs> I mean, I would say that date because mm -hmm. I should have known after the first date we, no, it was the second date we went on. Because mm -hmm. um, there was a parking attendant mm -hmm. and I remember he was driving this like really fancy sports car oh. and then he rolled down his window and, and he was just really rude to the parking attendant, which really turned me off and yeah. I was like, like, what? Who do you mm. think you are? Like, he just thought he was a what Oh my gosh. Ew. I know. That's the biggest turn off. But you know what? What? I still went on another date Another date with him, with him I have Yeah, I should have known mm. right there and then he, that he was not a good person. Yeah, yeah. But because he was such a good talker, mm -hmm. it made me think like, oh, like, you know, he's sweet to me. Yeah. Ah. I remember when I was like, so how was it like after your first date? Mm -hmm. And her like response to how was it was matter and that that translates to he's a really good talker <laughs> ladies don't fall for the freaking talkers yeah all they do is talk i freaking swear oh, oh my god no. now i know better because mm -hmm. i've experienced one i i didn't know before that you know mm -hmm. i guess biggest regret for me is like dating friends <laughs> <laughs> that is that's been um I, I don't recommend dating friends. I always say like, oh yeah, it's it's easy because mm -hmm. you know, once you're friends, you kinda already know this person, you can kinda somewhat trust them, but men are men and no, boys are boys. Mm -hmm. And because men won't do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well um and I guess for me friendship is more important. Mm -hmm. So I just don't wanna ruin that. So if you're gonna ship me with someone, don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> ship me not with friends. somebody else that I do not know <laughs> in the circle of friends. Like, just don't do it. I mean, of course, relationships can stem from friendships. Yeah. But it just has to be the right person, I guess. Mm. And mm. you gotta be prepared for the um, consequences if you do break up. With yeah. Friends. Well, it depends on how you break up. Yeah. If you if it's a bad breakup, then it's going to get awkward. Yeah. And then your mutual friends, you know, it'll be awkward. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of like. Ugh. Yeah, that's the worst when there's mutual friends involved. I'm like, oh. <laughs> that is the actual worst. Okay, our last question today: How do you deal with loneliness as an adult? Adore and subscribe to you both. Thank you. Thank you. How do you deal with loneliness? types of loneliness. Yeah, you yeah. would have to agree, right? Mm -hmm. I think as we get older, mm. it's easier to make um, light friendships, mm. just like surface level, you know, you hang out once in a while. And yeah. it's, it's still fun when you do hang out, yeah. but it's not as deep because with new people, I feel like I run out of opportunities to meet them one-on-one -on -one as I get older. Mm. It's just like a more group setting mm. and it's hard to talk about deep stuff when, with yeah. them, you know? With you, the reason why I was able to get so close to you was because we hung out alone like in the very mm. beginning and we were able to get deep with each other and just kind of like yeah. pour out, our, and pour we out just, our hearts. And we just asked like intense questions. Yeah, yeah. I just remember in the beginning, like Paro, intense yeah. questions. I was like, oh. Also, yeah. We talked about family, yeah. and just like you know our struggles and yeah. stuff. And I think that's when you open up. That's when you really start getting to mm -hmm. be really close with someone. But mm -hmm. the older you get, it's hard to open up. I feel like. Yeah, um, you're right. Like I think we met at a good timing, actually, because like we were both kind of like excited about life at the time. We were both pretty happy. We were both like. I feel like right now we're just kind of like, oh, like tired and stressed and sad from life but I think we met at a really good point in in time and then so we were able to grow together and like share and like whatnot but like yeah you're right whether you're in a big room filled with people still feeling lonely or just not being able to be in like a relationship even that's like something i struggle with because i'm always like oh my god there's literally nobody out there that you can <laughs> never like i, I don't know because 
I feel like I'm a very strong, per intimidating person. Mm -hmm. For any guy to ever be like, oh, like to even show interest. Like Selena Gomez says something on TikTok. Mm -hmm. what she, <laughs> she, was, she was just like, oh, um, everyone who is like interested in me are pe that are not my type. To be honest, the guys that are bold enough to hit on me are not my type, and the guys that I would love for them to hit on me would not set foot near a pop star. I think the idea of me is too much for people who I actually am attracted to. So for me, romantically, I'm very like always, I gave up at this point because you know, society is always like, oh my gosh, you're 30. Because in Korea, I'm 31, by the way. Mm -hmm. I'm 29, but I'm turning 30 this year. <laughs> We're turning 30. Yeah, it's okay. We got 10 months. Oh, okay, uh, <laughs> when I was young, I wanted to get married early and I wanted to have a family and everything. Same. Yeah, but now I'm like, no, I cannot do that. And I feel like my guard has just gotten even thicker and just like it's even getting harder and harder for people to even like step foot. But I don't know. I don't even think that I'm like hard to get mm -hmm. or yeah. Is this, is this answering the question? <laughs> is this what wine does? <laughs> Loneliness? But I mean... At the end of the day, I do talk to people. <laughs> I do talk to my loved ones. Because <laughs> actually, last year was really tough for me because um, I was going through major depression. Mm -hmm. You, you, you dealt with that because I was like just telling her about everything. Like my family wasn't at the best condition. Like, um, like my brother got COVID in like the you know middle stages and stuff. So it was just a tough year for me. I love felt it. very lonely because you know I was you know I felt like I was going through it by myself but yeah it was it was good to talk to other people so I guess how I cope with loneliness is just focus on the people that I love that love me back around me because why leave that mm -hmm. and try to find something else when it's already good here you know does that make sense yeah yeah <laughs> does it yeah you're gonna be like oh, these drunk girls like, while you're editing. <laughs> Sorry, editing Ashley. <laughs> How do you think that went? That Are you fun. ready to do some TikToks? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yes, we're filming um TikToks for Jones. Yeah. Stuff and also like she's gonna film the behind the scenes for her YouTube yeah. video, so make sure to check it out too. Oh. Again, if you guys have any ideas for what we should name this yeah. segment, let us know. Let us know. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Hi. done. You're not done. Okay, yes. We're done with our one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching. Alright guys, we'll be back Bye. with the next video, third video of my talk. talk and yeah. let us know who you guys want to feature i saw oh, the yes. questions uh -huh. me yeah yeah yeah, Dude, yeah that would yeah. be wild that would be wild she'll she's be gonna be like <laughs> she'll be telling us everything dude she will yeah she, she has will. so many more life experiences than we do but even though she's three years younger than us girl that that girl's oh been my God. Girl, dude. Girl a lot in girl. life you know actually we should have her as the next guest yeah, I think we're just be gonna dumb. be interrogating her she'll like, be in the middle down. be like to be no, it'll just be her questions. It's like, okay, answer this one. <laughs> yeah, because we've already answered so many questions already. So it's time for Sue Beans to yeah. spill the beans. Actually, yeah. <laughs> Sue Beans to spill the beans. Spill the beans. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys. All right. Thank Bye. you guys. Cheers. Bye.